Hello children, this is Teacher Connie. Welcome back to our online learning journey in Mathematics 5. How are you children? It's so nice to hear that you are doing great. Before we proceed to our online discussion, let us have first our review on the divisibility rule by 3, 6, and 9. Instruction Put a check on the column if the given number is divisible by 3, 6, or 9. Otherwise, put an X mark if it is not divisible. The given numbers are 4,110, 423, 846, and 630. You are given 30 seconds to answer this. Your time starts now. Go! up children let us check now your answers here are the answers for our review 4110 is divisible by 3 and 6 but not 9 next 423 is divisible by 3 and 9 but not 6 next 846 is divisible by 3 6 and 9 and lastly 630 is divisible by 3 6 and 9 children let us start our online discussion by reading the story problem come join me in reading this aloud story problem Christine wants to share her stamps collection to her friends. Can she share equally the 528 stamps to her 4 friends, 8 friends, 11 friends, or 12 friends? Children, what do you think the problem is asking for? Very good. The problem is asking for if she can share equally the 528 stamps collection to her 4 friends, 8 friends, 11 friends, or 12 friends. To solve the problem, we need to know if 4, 8, 12, or 11 are factors of 528, or if 528 is divisible by 4, 8, 11 or 12. Divisibility rule by 4. Children, there are two rules under this. The first rule states that if the last two digits of a number is divisible by 4, then the number is divisible by 4. Let us use the given number in our story problem and that is 528. The last two digits are 2 and 8. Let us divide this by 4 and we will get an exact answer of 7. Therefore, 28 is divisible by 4 and we can now conclude that 528 is divisible by 4. The second rule for the divisibility by 4 states that numbers ending with two zeros is always divisible by 4. Let's use this number, 1,800. Take a look at the last two digits. The last two digits of 1,800 are zeros. Therefore, 1,800 is divisible by 4. 
divisibility rule by 8. Also, there are two rules under this. The first rule states that if the last three digits of a number is divisible by 8, then the number is divisible by 8. Let us use the given number in the story problem and that is 528. And let us divide 528 by 8 and we will get an exact answer of 66. Since 528 can be divided by 8, therefore, 528 is divisible by 8. The second rule for the divisibility by 8 states that numbers ending with three zeros is always divisible by 8. Let us use this number. 36,000. Take a look at the last three digits. The last three digits of 36,000 are zeros. Therefore, 36,000 is divisible by 8. Divisibility by 12 states that if the given number is divisible both by 3 and 4, then the given number is divisible by 12. Let us prove that the given number in the story problem is divisible by 3 and 4 at the same time. Let us recall the divisibility rule by 3. It states that the sum of all the digits is divisible by 3. Again, the given number is 528. Let us get the sum of all its digits. 5 plus 2 plus 8, that will give us 15 as the answer. 15 divided by 3 and we will get an exact answer of 5. Therefore, 528 is divisible by 3. Now, let us recall the divisibility by 4. It states that if the last two digits of a number is divisible by 4, and the last two digits of 528 is 2 and 8, let us divide it by 4, and it will give us an exact answer of 7. So therefore, 528 is divisible by 4. Since 528 is divisible by 3 and 4 at the same time, therefore, 528 is divisible by 12. Divisibility rule by 11 states that if the difference of the sum of the digits in the odd places and the sum of the digits in the even places is 0 or a multiple of 11, then the given number is divisible by 11. Take a look at this figure. The odd place digits are 5 and 8, while the even place digit is 2. What shall we do? We are going to subtract the sum of the even place digit from the sum of the odd place digit. If the answer is 0 or a multiple of 11, then the number is divisible by 11. Let us show. 5 plus 8 minus 2, that will give us an N. 5 plus 8, that is equal to 13, minus 2, that is equal to 11. 11 is a multiple of 11. Therefore, 528 is divisible by 11. Based on our activity children, it shows that 4, 8, 11, and 12 are factors of the number 528. Why? Because it can be divided by 4, 8, 11, and 12 exactly. In the question, if she can share equally the 528 stamps collection to her 4, 8, 11, or 12 friends, the answer is yes, children. Christine can share equally her 528 stamps collection to her 4, 8, 11, or 12 friends.
children, let us summarize what you have learned earlier regarding the divisibility rules by 4, 8, 11, and 12. The first one is divisibility rule by 4. There are two rules under this. The first rule states that if the last two digits of a number is divisible by 4, then the given number is divisible by 4. The second rule under this states that numbers ending with two zeros is always divisible by 4. Next is divisibility rule by 8. Also, there are two rules under this. The first rule states that if the last three digits of a number is divisible by 8, then the given number is divisible by 8. The second rule under this states that numbers ending with three zeros is always divisible by 8. Next is divisibility rule by 11. States that if the difference of the sum of the digits in the odd places and the sum of the digits in the even places is 0 or a multiple of 11, then the given number is divisible by 11. Lastly, divisibility rule by 12 states that if the number is divisible both by 3 and 4, the given number is divisible by 12. Children, are you ready to put into practice what you have learned earlier? Alright, let's go! Direction Write yes if the larger number is divisible by the smaller number. Otherwise, write no if it is not. Number 1 is 27 can be divided by 4. Your 10 seconds starts now. Time is up and the correct answer is no. Number 2 is 316 can be divided by 8. Your 10 seconds starts now. Time is up. And the correct answer, children, is no. Number three is 891 can be divided by 11. Your 10 seconds starts now. Time is up. And the correct answer, children, is yes. Number four is 7,120 can be divided by 12. Your 10 seconds starts now. Time is up, children, and the answer is no. Finally, number 5 is 3,608 can be divided by 8. Your 10 seconds starts now. Time is up, and the correct answer, children, is yes. Thank you for watching, children. See you on our next online learning journey. Bye!